Hey, we're going to create a read bot once again, but this time we're going to use limit orders to automate the strategy. So when we add the indicator, um, it looks like this. Uh, we need to set a start date. So uh, for now, we're going to set it here. I'm going to change that later. So upper price, we want um, something like this. Okay, I'm setting the upper and lower price, but you, you can drag and the you can drag and drop them uh, later if you want. Um, like this, for example, if I want to increase increase the range like this, I just drag and drop, and we get something like this. But what I want to do is to to showcase the state testing with limit orders. So uh, I'm going to run the five seconds time frame. So it's just for testing. I don't recommend to do that uh, yet. So okay, I'm going to change the range so we can have more orders all right so we're getting something like this um so you can see start date here uh it's going to buy uh and then sell and then buy and the good thing uh, the nice thing about limit orders is that it's uh it uses the my maker fee and also it will buy and sell at the exact exact price of the step grid step so the, you can see if you want to see the price on the right like this like i have on my chart just go to the settings and click this indicator and financial value uh, and if you want the, the number of step the number of the step you can click this i'm going to leave it like this Okay, so we're getting something. Um, I think that's not too bad. Maybe we, I can just for the example, I can maybe bring that a little bit more like this. All right. So it's just for testing. Okay, usually you want to uh, wider steps. Uh, since we are on the we're going to, to test using the test net, we, we do not have any fees. I'm going to change the fees to zero. Alright. We got something like this. So, uh, my grid is uh, indicators is almost set up. Uh, I didn't do much, just, I just set the, the up and lower, upper and lower prices. I'm going to go on the bot system, so make sure I'm using testnet for testing. I recommend to, to use testnet first, so you, you can uh, see how the, for yourself, you can see for yourself how the indicator works before trading with uh, real money, real money. So I'm going to create a bot. I'm going to create bot, I'm going to use uh, BTC BUSD. Uh, like this, and um, for the quantity, something like uh, uh, this will work. So, using base currency, which is BTC, so it's going to buy uh, 0 0.001 BTC. I'm going to call it uh, BTC test read and basically click create. That's it. Uh, now I can see the my bot here. In this row i click on edit click on edit to get to the bot page all right so now we have a more a few more settings but we're not going to change anything we just need to uh, get the bot id all right which is here and we're going to copy it uh, back into uh back into the indicator i'm going to go into the settings scroll down to the alert what we want is to set uh, our bot ID here, like this, also here, and that's it. We are not using a uh, stop loss or take profits, just the two first message. Uh, it's, uh, for this tutorial, it's going to be quite simple. So just these two. Uh, we have a limit price here. We don't need to, to replace it. It's going to be replaced at uh, calculation. So. No, I don't have anything to do. Uh, all right, and so um, 
click OK. Uh, maybe the, the steps are a little bit too too close to each other. I'm going to change that. Bim. All right. So now we have this. Uh, what is it going to do? Uh, yeah, I'm going to to switch to ten steps instead, so we can we can see better. Uh, you will see why because it's going to place a lot of. When the strategy starts, it's going to place limit orders. So it's going to place ten, basically ten limit orders. So I'm going to change the start date now because I'm going to start the bot. So uh, I'm going to place it uh, a few minutes later. So uh, something like uh, this. So we can see here the, the vertical bar, it is right here. I'm going to maybe uh, one minute before. Okay, so we have a few seconds to create the alert. So I'm going to create it like this. Um, uh, okay, uh, grid bot. And there we go. So I created the alert. So I can see the alert here at the top, and the bot should start in like right now. So we, we can see an alert here, the first alert just triggered right now on the bar. And what we can see is that uh, it triggered like a bunch of others. So we're going to go back to our bot, we're going to refresh this page, and it should have placed the orders. So we have one, two, three, up to ten orders, and if we check the price, it's going to be the same price as the grid steps. So for example, this one, three hundred and nineteen, it's going to be the bottom step, I guess, and we can see it on the chart here, two hundred, uh, three hundred and nineteen. So this is the step number one, and we have all the way up to st step seven. So based on the price at the moment of the start, at the starting uh, alert, we will have uh, buy or sells. All right. So um, so since price is here, uh, basic steps in green are going to be buys, and step in green in red are going to be sells. So we have uh, the default so base starting orders right here. So when price will climb, climb up, it's going to to sell uh, using the, the placed uh, limit sales. And when, when price crisis crosses right here, so the, the, this is the alert you can see every time. We already we have already had three alerts, one, two, three sales. Every time what it does is that it, 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 it uh, place a, a buy order right before the previous active step. It does this because uh, in order to replace the previous steps, it need, you need to place uh, a new limit order. So it, this is why we get these alerts. Every time a uh, cross is step, uh, I'm sorry, a step is crossed, uh, it's going to place uh, a limit order not on the current step, but on the step before that it was uh, that was active just before. So that we always have a limit order for each steps, and same thing, but it reverse when it crosses down to create uh, it replaces a sell orders on the step above. So for example, here the last one we have it's uh, buy. It says buy and uh, twenty three thousand uh, three hundred forty, which is this step because we had the cross here, sell here, so. And the previous uh, active step was this one, step number five at uh, 23,440. Uh, placed a buy order right here. So when price crosses down here, it's going to play to, it's going to trigger the, the buy limit. So basically, that's it for the automation. Uh, what I did, um, I just, I just configured the indicator, uh, replaced uh, the bot ID in the alert message, create the alert, and that's it basically. Just like created the bot, set the quantity, uh, uh, set the quantity, and uh, basically, yeah, that was it.
So as you can see, it's, it's uh, really, really simple. Uh, and of course, uh, if you refresh, uh, you will see, uh, you will start um, seeing some uh, results. But right now, we just have sales because price is climbing. And you can see the bot logs. Bot logs right here. Uh, as um, orders are placed. And we have the open orders. If you want to cancel them, you have a button here. So yeah, that's uh, the update I wanted to, to, to share. Um, so once you're familiar with testnet, you can obviously uh, go with your real account. Uh, if you're new to this and want to try, uh, give it a try, uh, you can go uh, on our website. You will unlock access uh, using a subscription. So uh, there is uh, this subscription at 30 per month to unlock all indicators, so not only the grid, but all indicators and bots. But if you only want to, to use grid trading, using this indicator here, that I used for the example, for only 9 per month, you can unlock uh, the grid indicators and the Binance bots, like this. So yeah, I um, wanted to make a, a short video uh, for the limit orders, new feature. Hope you liked it. If you have any question, uh, leave a comment or contact me in Discord. Send an email or whatever you want. And I will answer uh, as soon as possible. Uh, uh, all the links are in the description. And that's it. Thanks for watching and see you later.